see, that's why this word today is a reflection of Friday night, power night, that uh, the things we need to look for, and just because of what they look like now, don't mean what they can't look like or what they're not going to look like. Because everybody has... ...the destiny in the Lord. But if we put our faith towards Him, we can never ever lose in faith and in God. Because He's forever. He's not short term. He's forever lasting. So we can continue to be within Him and not let things get in our way. And understand the things that we see here now. So the things we can't see when we talk about new faith being and seeded and planted and we go in new faith and feed the nations. We can't see it at this point. But we can't see it because God says it's eternal. That means it will come true. Because he said it. So these are the things that we will do. So we look towards the future within Him. But not within ourself, but within Him. Amen. Amen. So let's go to 2 Corinthians. Verse 18. Y'all there, let me know. That's good to be in the house of the Lord. Ooh, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Gracious Father. It's been a long week for all of us. And I'm, I, I know it struggles during the week. But I assure you that them struggles you have, you are not alone. God is with you in them struggles. He's walking with you in them struggles. And he will lift you. He will lift you up from them struggles. All he asks for is for you to believe in him. And then he will lift you up. So every time, even my struggles during the week gets rough. But when I take a second and reflect back on who God is and what he can do, it's like a breath of fresh air. He pulls it right out of me. And I exhaust in him. I left him all week he smoked it. My day is smooth. That minute is smooth at that point. So y'all, let's exhaust him. And walk in his step. Because he has made beautiful things for us. When he created this plant, he created it for us. Mm -hmm. All the beautiful flowers. I mean, I, I think about yesterday. Day when a woman of God went to take pictures by the beautiful flowers. And even looking at the flowers, I thought about God. I thought about how creative he is to make blue, green, orange, red, all these beautiful colors. And when you feel them, the texture, I mean, come on, y'all. That's just, that's just so awesome. I mean, when you feel them, they feel so So, so silky, not of this plane. But he finds a way to reach out to us, even through flowers. Plans. You know, so that's how wonderful he is. So I enjoyed that yesterday, just being able to exhaust in his creation of the flowers. And it was beautiful. You know, so when I, when I looked at him and I thought about it, I thought about it, wow, you do all these things for us and sometimes we walk by him like we don't even see him. But yesterday, he, we wrecked the woman of God, said, look at the beautiful flowers right there. And we had to take a second to look at it. It's so beautiful and nice time. We had to take pictures by it. But to reflect on us and what God has done and the uplifting he has done and what he has done for us. 
we never ever supposed to forget them things. And it's a reflection of us being a family too. So family is very important. Amen. So I'm going to start off with 18. It says, while we do not look at the things which are yeah, no, I'm sorry, chapter 5. I'm sorry, though. Chapter 5. I'm sorry, chapter 4, verse 18. I'm trying to run away from y'all. <laughs> yeah, chapter 4, verse 18. which are seen, but at the things which are seen. For the things which are seen are not our temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And then that word right there, it reflects back to Friday. And, and the reason why is because the woman of God, God gave the woman of God a word for us and told her what new faith is going to be doing. Even the people that's in new faith. We are direction and what he had planned for everybody. We can sit up now and we can look at the shortcomings and what we see right now. And believe me, what we see right now ain't visible. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not. But what we don't see, them the things we will have. We will have them things within us because that's what God said. But they ain't going to come as easy as we think. We might think that, hey, it's, it's so easy. I can sit back and relax. I don't have to come to church. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. God just going to hand them things down to me. But trust me, you can sit around waiting just because the woman of God, God prophesied to the woman and the woman prophesied to us and he done told her what he want us to do. Don't mean that it's going to come true. God said, but you have to do the work to make it come true. We can't just sit back and say, well, I'm just going to get in this car, and I know Sister Angela is going to drive me all around town. And I ain't got to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. But let me tell you, and God, he says you're going to have to work for what you want. You ain't going to sit around and Sister Angela going to drive you all the way around and she's going to get finished driving you ain't going to say thank you because you won't get a ride again. <laughs> I, I know she ain't, uh-uh, no, because you didn't even appreciate my ride, so God. I said, appreciate that I said where you going to be at and what you going to be doing in the future. Appreciate that. But if you don't appreciate it and you don't move forward in them steps, then it's just like the word in 18. While we do not look at the things which are seen, means the things we see right now is small. Look at us. We standing here right now, there's only one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of us in here. I have seen times New Faith had so many people here, you couldn't even find a place to sit. But when you sit back and you look again, they go. So even if you have all the seats full and all, and all the people in here, don't mean that's the movement that God will plan. He can do so many things with one, two, or three. But he will bring the proper people that he needs that's going to be faithful to you in the ministry. 
And the reason why we say to you in the ministry is just because God handed down like that. To be able to move the church where it need to go. Because see, we can sit around all day and think that, well, we can just relax in this. And we don't have to do anything extra because he's going to do it all. I mean, he's going to do it all. Even when you go back to Moses. Even when we go that far back and we think about, well, he, God going to fight our battles for us. We don't have to. Do anything. He will fight the battles to let you know he exists. Amen. But you won't have to fight the brain back. Right. And when it is something that he know you can't do and he want to speed it up, he will do but like part in the Red Sea and all that. But when it was time to fight hand to hand. In battles, he said, you know what you wanted? I got this land for you. Show me how bad you want. This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to fight. That's right. You're going to have to fight the tribes. You're going to have to go over there and fight for this land. But most of them was thinking, even some of his prize possessions that he knew that was going to be awesome in this world that was going to probably be one, two, or three of the only ones that was there that was going to be there in the future was saying that God was going to fight the battles. And y'all probably know their names. Sat down on his knees and said, I'm going to wait for God because God will fight this battle for me. I don't Amen. Huh? Joshua, I don't have to move. I'm going to get down on my knees and pray to the Lord that he fight these battles for me. But well, Moses told him, just like this, look, let me tell you something. You're going to get up and you're going to fight. Oh, but God going to do all these things for us. He's going to fight for us. We don't have to do anything. All we got to do is have faith in him. But Do some work, and most of the time it's gonna be hard work. Because if God said that He had this big passage or this big huge mission for you, and you just being lax in it, then He would gently take it away from you and give it to somebody. Because He don't think you ready. You know, so being in the Lord and accepting what he has made possible for us to have. Not now, but in the future. So we, he got to look, what, baby step us. He got to baby step us. Like he said, he have said that he have to baby step us. Step us, it's like feeding the baby with a bottle. To he know that we are ready, but he's training us. Training for you to be ready to take these huge steps. Because if he gave you all that just like on Friday and you mismanage these things, or you don't do the right things you're supposed to do with this, then, therefore, you can easily turn around and make God your enemy, and he will be more mad at you than happy because you ain't doing the things he wants you to do. So when he see you stepping towards him at the right time with everything he made, because God ain't a, he's not a God of confusion. confusion. He's not. Now he don't believe in that. So if you're supposed to be somewhere at a certain time or a certain place or doing a certain thing at a certain time or handling a certain thing, but we mishandle it or we are not holding it to our best protection from his word. Keep, keep in mind, y'all, this is very important because the way we handle God like we handle just simple people here, like God calls us basic. If we handle him like that, you know how he gonna handle us? Basic. 